Hello friends, welcome back to day two of Classroom Setup. My name's Rachel, I am a high school math teacher going into my seventh year in the state of Georgia. So today what I'm gonna do in my class is work on setting up mostly the classroom decorations, the bulletin board, rearranging things. Yesterday I really did more of the setup, get my desk and everything in order, student center, all of those things set up. So today I'm just gonna work on decorating and the fun stuff. So I brought my Cricut, we'll probably do some things with that and just get it a little more of a lived in feel. So thank you so much for watching and let's get started. Okay, so this is where we are from yesterday. It's a little messy, but I got my counter cleared off. I have everything set up for my desk and I have my student center ready. So I think what today I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with the influencers of STEM. So I mentioned this before, during the summer, it kind of gets a little messy in here. So all of these like little command strips that I had holding them up, they all kind of fell off. So I realized this year I'm gonna have to like hot glue these to the wall. But this is the craziest thing though. So I have these little frames from the dollar store, right? So they're kind of flimsy. So when they fell, a couple of them broke. So I went to go to the dollar store and get some more and there was none anywhere. Like, I mean, none, absolutely none. I went to three dollar stores. They have like little picture frames, but none of these like certificate ones. So this is the one I got, but this doesn't even match. These ones have like a little silver lining in it and they only had 12. So I have 16 photos. So I asked the guy at the dollar store if they were gonna have some more that come in and he said he had no clue, just it depended on what they get shipped to them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to end up taking all of these down, even though the some are actually glued on that I fixed throughout the school year. So I'm gonna have to take all of them down. I'm only gonna be able to put 12 up because I don't want to mix the frames. I just feel like that would look really bad. So I'm gonna have to fix that. I'm gonna actually have to reprint some of them because when they fell they kind of got a little ripped up. So I'm gonna reprint them, pick my favorite 12, and then that'll just leave four once I get new frames, like two to put on each side. And I think that should work. I'm just a little bit bummed. I can't believe that they only had 12 out of three stores. So we're just gonna work with what we have. I'm gonna redo that first and then get started on my bulletin board. Okay, so I've got everything printed out. I took everything off the wall. You can see, ignore, I hate this. I used to have that 360 classroom. I mentioned it before and I cannot get this like stuff off the wall. So if anybody has tricks, I've used crud cutter before and it took a lot off of the wall, like that residue, but it's just, it, it's like stain forever. Also ignore, I learned my lesson. I had, I kept the glass and the picture frames and when I was taking them down. I accidentally broke one in my hand and then I got blood all over the wall. So just ignore. So lesson learned, don't put the picture frames up with the glass in it. That was a no, no. So anyway, I have all of these done. They look so much nicer than last time. I think our printer was running out of ink. And so this time when I printed them, they're super nice. So these are from, uh, another teachers pay teachers, uh, I think it's elementary in the mitten. I'll probably link it below. I don't really know how to do any of that yet, but I'll link that. These are super cute. They're all different people throughout history who were influential in STEM and they range from field and like diversity as well, which I really like. So there's just different ethnicities always represented in these um, different fields like science. You have Jane Goodall, so like conservation. Um, so it's just a really good set. I love it. I thought it was super cute. Last year, I had a student actually say something about a quote from one of them. I didn't really think my students looked at them, but apparently they do. So these are super cute. Elementary in the mitten, influencers and STEM. So I'm going to go ahead and put their picture frames, figure out what order I want them to be, and then I will hang them up. Okay, so I've got them all laid out how I want to, so I'm just gonna stick them on the wall. I'm gonna use, I haven't used these before and I'm hoping they do a little bit better. I ordered these off Amazon and they're these like double-sided sticky kind of gel. So I don't know if you can kind of see inside of there, but there's like a gel inside. So I'm gonna try that and hopefully that works a little bit better. I don't wanna have to hot glue onto the wall again because that was just a little bit difficult to get down. So I'm gonna try these little gel, like double-sided kind of stickies. I'll probably put two in each corner and hopefully that'll help stay up, especially since I don't have the glass in it, it won't be as heavy. So we'll see what happens.
look. I think it looks really good. So I have two more on each side once I get the frames. I feel like it looks a little bit off center, but I think once I get two here and two here, it's not gonna be so bad. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the character strengths and I'm gonna move it over here to the bulletin board. So I gotta take all that stuff down, move that over, and I'll kind of show you guys what I'm gonna do with character strengths and um, some growth mindset stuff that I'm gonna do with my students this year. And it's gonna be more of an interactive bulletin board, um, just something a little bit different than a word wall because kids don't really ever look at that anyway. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I think it looks pretty good. I just need to put some more tape on some of these to kind of secure it down. So what I'm gonna do next is start cutting out the little hexagon type shapes that I had mentioned. So first of all, this is the website that I got it from the Teachers Pay Teachers, so Gifted and Talented. So these are her like well-being. They're all titled under well-being. Um, type manipulatives or just curriculum that she has. So what you can do is print off these hexagons. So they say which one, it should match with the color, but you can kind of see this one is a little bit lighter than the creativity that's the top left. So it says it underneath here, what it's for. And so I'm just gonna cut up a couple of these and go ahead and paste them on the wall. So what I'm thinking is like the first day of school or first week of school, I'll have each student pick a different character trait because there's 24 of them. And then they'll get like a little slip about what it, that character trait is. And then they'll kind of write some qualities and then go paste it on the wall or go up and like kind of write it themselves because I'll probably have some. So that'll give me five, one from each class. So that'll start filling up the board. And then throughout the year, we'll kind of switch and do more character talk uh, talks as well to kind of fill up that board with um, different like little characteristics for each strength or that a person could have. So that's what I'm gonna do next and then I'll put it on the board. Okay, so it's Saturday. I completely forgot to record an end of the day video. Um, so my boyfriend had texted me that he had a surprise date. Um, so I got super excited and left as soon as I could because he told me to come over ASAP basically. So um, he ended up taking me to Botanical Gardens and we had a little date night in Atlanta. So it was super, super sweet and fun. Uh, but I completely forgot because I was so excited just kind of get out of my classroom. I'd been working for so long. So I um, didn't get everything done that I had wanted to. So that's always going to, you know, just carry over to the next day. So Monday is the beginning of pre-planning. So I'm hoping to get most everything done. We'll see. I want to be completely done Monday with decorating, but you know, it never happens the way you want it. So it got to be a little flexible. So hopefully I'll have everything decoration wise finished on Monday, maybe a little bit left. Um, and then that way I can get into the entire week with you guys on what I do to prep for students and uh, planning my first couple days of school. So thank you so much for watching day two of my classroom setup. And I hope you guys can join me for some more.